Hello, my name is Hajime Sugiyama from Mitsubishi Electric, and I'm an industry IoT evangelist. Today, I'd like to introduce an e-factory uh, use case in a confectionery factory, utilization of IoT in confectionery plant, case study of visualization and machine operation and predictive maintenance. The company we'll talk about is a confectionery manufacturer in Japan, Takeuchi. This is a short introduction of Takeuchi. Um, they're a very, very established company. They have 70 years of history and they're located in Ishikawa in Japan. Um, they manufacture and sell Japanese Western style confectionery like uh, Kintsuba, steam buns, and also Western style confectionery such as cookies and cheesecakes. Um, today, we're going to talk about this, what they call the Kintsuba. Um, it's a sweetened beans wrapped in wheat flour dough cake. But to make things easier, we'll just call it cakes. And it's very, very yummy. You should try it when you come to Japan. The confectionery industry is very, very tough. Currently, the price of the raw material is going up, you know, raw beans, something like also sugar, the price is going up. Also, packaging material like wrapping is going up, film is going up. And it's a very, very competitive market, the sweet industry. As you know, all competitors are putting more cost effective and new products into the market. So you need to keep up your game to stay in. So in order to improve production efficiency, Takeuchi decided to introduce some new manufacturing equipment. In this case, a baking machine for the cakes. Currently, they were making about 33 cakes a minute. They wanted to improve it to 40 cakes in one minute. So they installed the machine but they had a lot of issues. The issue is what that is, is the performance of the new manufacturing equipment, the baking machine, gradually declined and they could not meet the goals that they were set. So when they first installed the machine, they were making 40 cakes a, a minute, but time to time, this went down. And because they could not meet the requirement, they had to stay and work extra hours to meet customer demands. They knew something was wrong with the machine, the maintenance and the performance of the machine was going down and it was probably because of the operating speed of the air cylinder was um, getting longer, the tack time was getting longer. Uh, but it's difficult to see the difference day by day, hour by hour by the human eye. Because, for instance, the oil painting um, so air cylinder, it takes 2.7 seconds, one tacked. But when it gets some uh, dirty or it wears down, it might go to 3.1 seconds. So the tack time is extended by 0.4 seconds. It doesn't sound like a long time, and that's why you can't see it by the human eye. But at the end of the day, this results in a difference of 600 cakes a day. So it's a big issue. So what Takeuchi wanted to do is they wanted to see if they could possibly um, catch the decline in tack time. And that's what they, why they saw, said, and thought, okay, why not use IoT? At that time, an e-factory alliance partner, Tachibana Eltec, came to them with an e-factory IoT proposal, this IoT-based cylinder monitoring system for the Kintsuba cake baking machine. What they proposed is what to collect the real-time operation time and tack time of the air cylinders and so they can be able to detect the changes. They would gather the data to the PLC and if they see the tack time is delayed or it's getting longer, they would set off the alarm or at the same time they would send to the maintenance staff an email that the tack time is getting longer so you should probably do maintenance. This is the Kintsuba production process and the actual machine. First, they pick up the cake and they put the cake on the dough. Then they grease the iron plate with the cooking oil. Then they place the cake on the iron plate and they bake it. So they repeat several times at different angles or faces of the cake. And then they put it into the cooling process. And they use about 40 air cylinders to perform these operations. So this is the actual IoT cylinder monitoring system. Um, here's the air cylinders and the PLC collects the operation time information and then they visualize it using an HMI and this warning lip. This is the actual HMI screen, GOT screen you see. 
Um, it has the names of the cylinders, a cleaner moving forward, moving back, and also, you know, the turning of the key cylinders. And it has all the tack time data over here. So every time it does a movement from the start and the end of each cylinder operation, they collect the tack time and they send out an alert when the tack time exceeds a defined limit, meaning that now it's time to do maintenance. So it's very good because now they can understand when and also where to perform maintenance based as on the changes, the lengthening of the operating time. One of the points that they were easily able to implement this IoT system is that they use the eFactory starter package from Mitsubishi Electric. Um, Mitsubishi Electric has 17 years and more experience of IoT and we put this kind of knowledge and into sample templates and programs based on our, on our experience for these IoT solutions. So Takeuchi used the um, ready-made templates because they, we had some templates for monitoring these values and it enabled them to install the solution in a short time and low cost because the engineering costs were cheaper. So it was a very, very easy job to put the system into place. And the results were great. I mean, we're moving from human intuition to a data-driven uh, system. The production output, which was the main goal, met uh, our requirements, you know. In the past, they started at 40 and it will go down and down. And actually, after the installation of the system, we got an increase in production. So currently, they're making about 42 cakes each minute. The second benefit, and this was the big benefit, was that the optimal maintenance prevented production downturn. So now they can perform maintenance before it, the values get bad. And it's not only they know the right time to do that, they know the right place to do it because they're monitoring all the cylinders, the 40 cylinders that are working around. As an extra bonus, they were also able to lengthen the life of the high cost exchange parts, spare parts. So that was an extra cost reduction. And I heard that they easily achieved the return on investment that they sold out to do. In addition, they're meeting their production goals. So no overtime and they have a happier team working in the factory. So it was great. They're also considering the next steps for uh, the future. They're planning to upgrade their systems. You know, next time they want to use motor vibration monitoring using the factory starter packet, starting packages. Consider AI for predictive maintenance as well. And the second thing is they want to utilize IoT for investment decisions. Um, today we talked just about the visualization of the operation for the one baking machine, but the next step they have about um, 10 or more production lines working in the three factories. So they want to visualize the operation time of each production line and decide if they should make new investments or they can cope the demand with the current production line. So we're really looking forward to the next steps that um, Takeichi will make in their IoT journeys. I hope you enjoyed it. It's a simple but very effective uh, solution and both companies are very, very happy with this. Thank you very much for listening and see you again.